Hi, my name is Wendy Wagner. I have a Master's of Physical Therapy degree from the Feinberg School of Human Movement Development from Northwestern University. Today I will discuss when you should consider a powered toilet lift, the types of conditions most likely requiring a powered toilet lift, the selection of the right powered toilet lift, and when to consider accessories, how it works, and how to use the product, which model to recommend to your patients, and the added benefit of an electric washing bidet to maximize hygiene. There are different times when you should consider a powered toilet seat. The lift seat is a powered toileting lift option when you have qualified the right patient where non-powered options simply don't work anymore for patients. For example, seat risers, grab bars, toilet chairs, and physical therapy, or with progressive diseases where the goal is to maintain maximum independence with activities of daily living and to maintain dignity, the ultimate goal, of course, is to protect against the fall. According to a report from the Centers for Disease Control, the leading cause of falls occurred in or around the tub or shower and on or near the toilet. An additional goal and benefit of a powered toilet lift is protection from injury to the caregiver who may have previously been assisting in the transfers. There are various types of conditions where a powered toilet lift is most beneficial. For example, in neuromuscular diseases, like Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, ALS, multiple sclerosis, spinal muscular atrophy, myositis, and myasthenia gravis. As more neurons in the brain die or lose their ability to properly fire signals to the muscles they are intending to operate, muscle wasting begins. As muscles degenerate, disability increases, and functional performance decreases. When a patient's disease has progressed to the point where they can no longer perform a sit-to-stand, required for a safe transfer on and off the toilet, a powered toilet lift provides safety, independence, and dignity. In order for powered toilet lifts to be most beneficial, the patient needs to be weight-bearing, ambulatory with or without an assistive device, and other means of toileting solutions have failed. Other diseases where a powered toilet lift is appropriate include rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, orthostatic hypotension, patients who have been given hip or sternal precautions after surgery, or patients who have experienced general muscle wasting from the aging process. The following information was provided for you by the manufacturer lift seat. This will help you determine which unit will work best for the patient. We will need to determine the height of the patient, the weight of the patient, the distribution of the patient's weight on the unit, and the patient's upper and lower body strength. So now let's take a look at the models that we have available at LiftSeat. The first would be the Independence 2, which is recommended for patients less than 250 pounds and shorter than 6 feet 1 inches tall. The other is the Independence 4, which is recommended for patients 250 to 450 pounds and taller than 6 feet 1 inches tall. For help with model selection and for patients heavier than 450 pounds, please contact LiftSeat. And now Dave is going to help us demonstrate how the LiftSeat works. Dave, go ahead and step back toward the seat. Reach back, there are handlebars there for you to hold on to. Lower yourself down comfortably. Good, and scoop back until you're comfortably seated in the seat. Good, there is a pendant here for you to help lower yourself down and lower yourself down into a comfortable position. When Dave is finished eliminating, he will rise himself to a standing position using the hand pendant. Okay, Dave, go ahead and scoot forward. Using the handlebars for support, stand yourself up. And now Dave will be able to ambulate away from the toilet with or without an assistive device or transfer to a nearby chair. Here are some final key design features from the manufacturer. The lift seat does not touch or put any pressure on the toilet. This means it won't break the toilet or break the seal of the wax ring. The lift seat will raise the patient slowly that can help reduce the risk for orthostatic hypotension that can happen if a patient was raised up too fast. There are no pinch points. The surfaces don't close on one another. The lift raises the patient up vertically while moving them forward and ends with a slight seat pitch. It won't tilt them onto the floor. The unit can be used over the toilet or by the bedside if that is what is required by the patient. The unit is easy to clean it has waterproof and particle-proof electronics. It has battery backup for power outages or battery-only power available. And it provides the support needed to lift the patient almost to standing, but supports their weight in that position until they are ready to ambulate away. 
We have a number of accessories that are available, including a big button hand pendant, locking caster wheels, a commode bucket, splash guard, padded toilet seat, and height extenders. And lift seat is now available with an electric washing bidet. It attaches to the lift seat, it plums into the water at the toilet, heats the water to the user selected temperature, cleans the patient, and dries the patient. Please contact a lift seat representative for additional information and support.